Hi friends, let's make a send icon. So here in Figma, I have these two send icons, both an outline and a filled one. Let's go ahead and make them. I'm gonna select my frame here, press the P key for the pencil, and using this icon grid, I'm gonna select these intersecting points. This key line is three pixels up from the center. Choose this point up here, which is the diagonal and the intersection points of our key shapes. I'm gonna click down here, three pixels from the vertical center, the center point, and connect those all the way there. Next, I'm going to click on that center point and connect it to the top right. In Figma, if I press the V key, you can see that these will all remain connected. Now that all of those have been established, I can select all the points, come over here to the stroke panel, pull up the advanced stroke and choose a rounded join. Now that I have this, I can decide how I want these joins to be placed within the grid. I can choose and move these points. Notice that as I move them, they are moving by a value of 0.5. You can change that setting when you hit Command P, Control P on Windows and type in nudge amount. I'm going to set my small nudge to 0.5. That's going to give me a little bit more control over placing these points with the sensor aligned stroke. That icon looks pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to copy that, select the next frame and paste that in. This one, we're going to do a filled icon. It's going to be a little different. I'm going to select that sensor line and press delete. Next, with the move tool here, I can now select all of these kind of halfway points between. So I selected this as the halfway point between those two. This is a halfway point. This is a halfway point. This is the point that I want here in between these two points. So now I'm gonna do the same thing here. Halfway point, halfway point. Zoom in a little bit, get that halfway point. If I want, I can delete these others with shift delete. I can select these points here. If I don't press shift delete, you will get it broken. I'm gonna undo, press shift delete, and that will keep that a little bit better. Now I can select this sensor point here and move this up. If you want to see what it looks like filled, press Shift X to swap the fill and the stroke. I'm going to move some of these points as well. I can change where they are going to align. So I'm going to move this edge over here over here and move this one a little bit more along that diagonal. Now I can select all of these endpoints and change the corner radius. I'm going to set the corner radius on these to 0.2. I'm going to set the corner radius on these here to 0.5. I can also set it to 1. So depending on how you want that corner radius to appear. And I'm going to select this one and apply a corner radius. If I do 0.5, it might be a bit drastic. So I'm going to do a 0.2, see how that looks. I can change that down to a 0.1 and that way I can get that appearance. So you can adjust those values as needed. You can adjust the placement of the points to get your desired outcome when making these icons. So that's it for today. Hope you all found that helpful. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. And as always, happy designing.